Are you doing a wetsuit? Uh, I don't need to. I've never tipped once. Well, so today's the day, huh? Today's the day. Let's do a fit check real quick. I bought this new guy for 20 bucks. Hopefully this will help me attach my camera to my kayak and get better video quality. Okay, so where are we kayaking? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the, part, the point I put on the map. What, what's it called? I don't know. Ooh, puck. Puck, you bird, where'd you go? Oh, he's in that tree. Eagle. I wonder if I got it. Let's get a little view of it through the car window because that's gonna be a gorgeous shot. Okay, do you see the three eagles? Tell me you see the three eagles. There's two over there. There's two over there. That one just dropped to the water and I missed it. Okay. Hopefully I'll be able to get you guys a good shot when I'm out there. When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Gorgeous out here. We've got the waves working with us right now, so on the way back is gonna be a little fun and tricky. When kayaking, try and plan your trip going out against the waves because you don't realize how far you get when the waves are pushing you, and then it becomes real hard on the way back if you went too far. <laughs> I've learned that one after doing it wrong so many times. The future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm. to talk about my feelings right now. I don't know if you guys can see, I am shaking. Um, the seal was this close, like this close, and it, he was so close. <laughs> He's not, and it was waiting underwater, so like only his snout was showing just a little bit, and I was like, what is that? Why is it not moving? And we just kept getting closer and closer, and way too close. And yeah, I, I do like marine animals, but I'm like, I don't want to piss off a seal and then it attacked because I bumped its nose, you know? But it was very close, it was very close. Uh, also, when I say seal, I meant like leopard seal. We have leopard seals out here and I was close enough to see his coloration under the water wading around like a damn alligator ready to pounce. I don't fuck around with leopard seals. Those things, as long as you leave them alone, they're cool, but you know. If I bump him on the nose, he's not really being left alone. So yeah, it freaked me out a little bit. And now, 
now sitting in the middle of the water doesn't sound like such a great idea. <laughs> it was just too close. We're good though. We're good. We're good. So we do not have leopard seals. I saw the coloration and I thought that was what it was. We have harbor seals that kind of look like leopard seals because they're large and they're spotted and white. Very different though. I mean, to be fair, we do get Arctic marine animals, but no leopard seals. was fucking rough. I absolutely hated every second of the, the travel back, but we made it. It was rough. I think now is a good time for some safety reminders because yes, kayaking is fun, but it can be dangerous and deadly, especially if you're doing it out in the open ocean. So first things first, let's talk about the difference between sit on top kayaks and sit in kayaks. This one is a sit-in kayak. It has the little hole. So with the sit-in kayaks, you want to have a skirt and that will prevent water from getting in while you're kayaking. But if you tip over, you have to know how to remove this skirt so that you're not stuck upside down capsizing. There are classes that you can find at usually your local boating center. Um, I did have to do this. I started out with a sit-in and I realized it was bad for my leg. So this is a sit on top kayak. I, this is the best view I can get of it. I'm sorry guys, but you don't need a skirt. If you capsize, you're just going to fall over. There's no risk of being trapped underwater. So it does not require any classes for capsizing. So with the sit-in kayaks, you're going to get a smoother ride. The sit on top is just basically bouncing up and down with all the waves. You're going to have to maintain your core a lot more. Whereas with the sit-in, it does require more skill to not flip over. <laughs> So there's pluses and minuses. I prefer the sit on top because of the rod in my leg just works better with me being able to have that leg room. All right, so if you can see this thing sticking out here, that is a paddle and even your paddles do matter. So this fin is up, this fin is up. You wanna make sure that that is always correct. You're gonna hold it like that, fins down, and the black part is where you put your hands. In the perfect world, my fingertips would touch the top of that paddle. It does not, it is the incorrect sized paddle. So in heavy waves, I have a couple things working against me. It's not a smooth ride. I'm crashing with the waves and this is too long. It's not that big of a deterrent, but in a perfect world, it would be the right height. The other very important part is just strictly what you're wearing. I am wearing athletic wear. I don't want it to be weighing me down. I want it to be somewhat water resistant. I don't want anything loose on me. Athletic wear is perfectly good for it. Unless it's in freezing temperatures, then you want a wetsuit. Which brings me to shoes. There are wetsuit type shoes for cold weather. A lot of divers will know about these. They're not very good for any rocky surfaces. This doesn't offer a lot of resistance on that, but it will keep your feet warm. These are my all time favorite shoes to kayak in. They're just water shoes, they're rubber, they're hard and I can slip them off really easy if I do capsize and I need to take off my shoes to help me swim. Just kick them off and then they will float to the water top because they're rubber and lightweight. And then I can just strap this onto my life jacket. So if I do get to somewhere where it's rocky and I need to walk, I have shoes. But yeah. Another important thing, water bags. This is for your keys, your phone, tons of water bag types. You can find most of them on Amazon. Um, Sportsman Warehouse. If you have a Sportsman Warehouse, that's where I found my shoes so that I could try a couple on and look at bags. I was avoiding that place because they do have like taxidermied animals and I'm not a fan of that, but they have a wide variety of different activity gear. Okay, so we went over what kind of kayaks there are. There's more too. There's like ones that are inflatable. There's ones that are for the ocean and lake. 
there you need to do your research before taking a kayak out on the ocean and i would suggest one class um, they will teach you about self-recovery and assisted recovery steven and i once a year practice both type and we do the t-shaped recovery i think it's what it's called we make a t with our boats and i hold one end while he climbs in this is a tow rope always have this if you're going out in the open ocean with other people there is a specific way to attach tow rope so you need to do more research on that but i was struggling in this video and if i needed to and i said i can't do it anymore or i wasn't making any like gains whatsoever steven would have attached this to his boat and mine <laughs> and it would have taken like 30 percent off of the work i was doing and would have made it a much easier way back but i knew i could make it so we did not do that but don't be afraid to use it if you need it this is an inflatable that goes on one end of your paddle blows up manually right there and this is going to help you with a self recovery or even an assisted recovery if you need it you put it on one end of your paddle and you use it to stabilize and give yourself a little extra oomph to getting in always have this in your boat so if you're packing your boat you want a tow rope and an inflatable paddle thingy i know there's a word for it but i don't i don't know what it is called last but not least the life jacket if you are in a kayak be wearing your life jacket i don't care if you don't like them wear them this is what's going to keep you alive okay and there are so many people out there not wearing them and there are so many options for life jackets there are skinny ones that are like this thin which we will be getting when we're living on a boat so that we're not uncomfortable constantly this right here is one of the main reasons why i wanted to lose weight because it is so uncomfortable with extra boobage so you want to make sure these are tight so you're going to let them out there we go all right, this guy has a lot of straps. Okay, I wanna make sure I'm grabbing the right straps. This guy has a lot of straps to help with the fact that I have a large chest so it can tighten in multiple places, but it is a little tricky to find out where it is. Okay, you wanna take both ends, tighten at the same time. And just work your way up. Tighten, tighten. This right here, most important part. You wanna make sure that there's not too much giveaway because if you're getting pulled up by the top of your life vest and you slip out, guess what? Not very helpful. So there's a lot of things to check. Did Steven and I do the wrong thing by paddling out too far and not paying attention to how big the waves were getting and how far away the shore was getting? Yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> and what I'm saying is, is that that was probably the only thing that we did wrong there. We made sure we had proper equipment. If I needed to get the tow rope, I would have. We had the correct type of kayaks had my life vest on oh and then another thing i think i need to research what kind of animals are in our bay because <sighs> another thing we could have done is seen how we could have checked online to see which way the waves were going and made a decision on what spot to launch from there's a lot of things safety is important and we will be continuing to kayak this year so we will hopefully be able to show you assisted and self-recovery but there are a lot of options on YouTube that already show it. But since it's a vlog, I'll show you guys it. There are a lot of YouTube tutorials on all the gear and what they're called and what they're for. So if you are interested in kayaking, I suggest you guys check that out. Get informed as much as possible because this is a fun sport. It's a great way to get out and enjoy nature, but it has deadly consequences if you are not making sure you are well equipped for anything that might be thrown at you. And with that, I will see you guys soon. Bye.